Good morning. Welcome to my channel. Namaste. My name is Bobby. Robert Keith, to be you know, exact. <sighs> Emperor of the Universe, by the way, is self-love. That's just me putting myself on a pedestal. Which is a good thing. Everybody should have boundaries, healthy boundaries, and self-love. <clears throat> when you are in your Emperor and Empress status. Your energy. When you can't be fooled, you can, you're you're running alpha male, alpha female, right? You're, you're when you walk in the room, everybody goes, okay, who who's this person? Or they're thank God they showed up, right? That kind of energy. And I want to talk about that today. I mean, I'm not going to talk about everything that's going on. That's just ridiculous. I'm not going to go there. So I'm just going to focus on my paintings. Those are good, right? I just downloaded a whole bunch, a couple times, three or four times already, because I wasn't getting any play. So I'm just like, whatever. But anyway. So those are awesome. I'm working on that. See how that works. But I was thinking about the other day. Um, I was thinking about who would personify emperor or empress energy that we know of. I mean, it's not going to piss anybody off. <laughs> Seriously, you talk about somebody, it's either going to piss, you know, somebody off. Anyway, uh, cool. I'm looking at um, white cranes flying by. Those are good luck. I just saw a flock of four and others too, <clears throat> which is cool. But anyway. So I can think of one person that I know of that is an emperor in their energy, and that's Keanu Reeves. And I will tell you why. Um, <clears throat> for one, Keanu Reeves has been through the dark night his whole life, just like me. He's, but he suffered on levels like, you know, losing his best friend, River Phoenix, when he was young. You know, family trauma and issues, you know, when he was a kid. And just growing up in Hollywood and all that weird shit and losing his girlfriend and his baby and that's just right there as a dark night of soul, you know, personified, right? But with grace, this guy, right? Everything he does. You know, he's a decent human being. He walks this earth as a decent man, a good person. And that's rare, even in, especially in Hollywood. You know, people just don't get him, but that's what it is. He's an emperor. He runs an emperor status. He's, and it's... I can't explain it, but to get to that point, you have to earn it. You have to, and unfortunately, a lot of times you have to suffer. And me and him have similar, it's weird, kind of, you know, parallel, parallel, you know, like we both did the exploratory surgery. He, he got in a car wreck, I got stabbed. So there's two different ways of, and they're both cool. I mean, come on now. If you got to have a story to tell, I got in a motorcycle wreck and I had to do surgery and blah, blah, blah. He has that scar up. Like, I got that too. But mine was just getting stabbed in a fight with a bunch of dudes that were trying to kill me. But either way, both cool stories. But I mean, he's a little richer and he's a little awesomer. And here's the thing. And John Wick is a great example of an emperor energy too. If you think about it, just focus. This guy is just one in peace, just want to relax with this old lady and just, you know, have a puppy. And somebody just screwed that all up and just turn, put it, you know, you know, turn the light on, right? And he just put it in alpha mode and he just went kicking ass and, you know, grace and just power just you know people go oh shit you know here comes the you know the boogeyman right because he just yeah that's a great example john wick is a great example of that character is a great example of emperor energy but but keanu reeves basically already walks in that energy so it's kind of easy for him to personify that kind of thing he's a cool guy, you know i gotta say i'm not i'm not gushing or anything but yeah he's a really cool guy I would de he's one of the persons I would definitely be want to be friends with and be cool with and would like to get to know kind of thing. You know, I was, I was you know, there's not a lot of people in Hollywood that I even think of like that, you know. That would be interesting to have a conversation with, sit down with and have a conversation with. You know, but he's just a really interesting cat, but uh, then again, we both like I said, we both you know, I lost somebody and and a, and a child too, so that's just one of those things where you just yeah, talk about dark night of the fucking soul. Anyway, you survive, and that's what gives you your power. You survived it. People go, how did you survive? They want to know. They want to know, how did you survive? And it's a lot of, you know, hugging your pillow, crying at night, I guess. You know, you, you don't give up. There's something out there that, you know, you just don't have no quit in you. I don't know. Ask Keanu. He's a badass, right? But that's it. I just wanted to talk about emperor or an empress. It's the same thing with women. I mean, I could, I could talk about empress energy. Uh, Tina Turner. A great example of somebody who went through the dark night hard with some abusive fucking bullshit and she, she came out fucking badass. Tina, mm-hmm, goddess, empress, fucking badass. 
like I said, there's there's just people on this earth that walk and you know who they are. And it's a beautiful thing to see. And anyways, and you, you have that ability, you're just gonna have to, I mean, not everybody has to go through that, that traumatic of a, you know, to get to that, you know, emperor, you, but you have to start with loving yourself. And a lot of it just, and Dark Knight brings that all out. You have to focus, it, it makes you do the internal work. It makes you do all, you audit. You gotta do the internal audit of your life. And that's a tough thing for a lot of people to have to do. And then still be able to look in the mirror and love yourself afterwards and forgive yourself. And then you become the emperor or empress because you don't want to go back and you don't want to re repeat those mistakes and you don't. And you hope that the person that you cared about, you know, learns from those lessons and moves on. But, and then I'm rambling. Anyway. I love you, God loves you, and the universe is crazy about you. And we want you in that emperor and empress status and energy because you, you are. And we all are. I'll let you go. Have a wonderful day and have a great Labor Day weekend and good luck with everything. And yeah, uh, hydrate definitely, drink a lot of water and stay away from the booze and the crack and the, all the other crap. And yeah, just love yourself and take a day off, get away from people, find a side, quiet space. And just because uh, you need that, you need to energize salt baths. That's all I'm gonna say salt baths and yeah. Seriously, salt baths and immerse because it helps to clean the energy. And I'm gonna let you go. And sage and burn juniper and cedar tooth. That works. Anyway, love you. Goodbye.